What's up everyone, Hippo TC here with your complete spoiler-free guide for Sea of Thieves Season 3 of Pirate's Life. There is a whole heck of a lot to cover, so that being said, let's just jump right on in. First and foremost, let's cover the biggest news, which is of course the five brand new tall tales that are themed around Pirates of the Caribbean. On each of the outposts, you can find the new building on the beach, which has the start to your adventure. This will start you off on your journey to experience these new tall tales. Now, like I said, this video is a spoiler free guide, but I will mention that these new tall tales will be introducing you to some beautifully made new worlds, which you and your crew get to experience. So find your crew, load in the seas and set sail already. There are quite a few secrets along the way, so don't rush these tall tales because in rare fashion, they have some hidden Easter eggs for you to find. Sometime this week, I will release a spoiled rich guide giving you all the details that you wanna know. So go ahead and subscribe if you have not yet already so you don't miss out on that. If you don't have a crew but would like to go on this new adventure with a crew, I recommend finding a good online community to join and try to crew up with. You can even join my Discord. We are a family-friendly, focused community, but we are a thieving pirates at the heart along with these beautiful new tall tales where we get to meet jack sparrow himself sea of thieves is also introducing some brand new ai that we will be facing off against throughout the world first up we have the sirens there are two types of sirens first we have the basic siren who can attack with his claws but can also back off and shoot a note of song at you from some distance they can also create a sphere healing themselves and other sirens that are close by the other type of siren is a siren leader these scurvy dogs are the trident of dark tides which i will talk about a little bit later in this video either way these sirens can do some pretty devastating attacks from distance however don't let them fool you as they can still attack up close and do some damage too next we have the ocean crawlers there are three types here and they are all pretty tough and unique fights first we have the biggest and the baddest of all the ocean crawlers and that is the crab this guy packs a mean claw pummel attack and it's best to keep your distance Next, we have the electric. Their attack can be electrifying. <laughs> Anyways, not only do they have a dash that gets around quickly in an attack from distance, but they also have the ability to create a shield where you need to back off a little bit. Otherwise, if you do get caught up in their electricity, you could transfer that damage to you and other players around you. Last but certainly not least, we have the Hermit. This ocean crawler is pretty nasty. If you do get close, his pores can poison you, leaving you in a bad spot. They can also do a charge attack towards you, but probably what these beasts are most known for is tunneling under the ground and surprise attacking you. Now within the Tall Tales, we get a new weapon to wield called the Trident of Dark Tides. This new weapon can also be found scattered across the Sea of Thieves. So while you are out and about exploring, make sure to keep a keen eye out for it. These new weapons pack a mean punch, and finally we get to blow up skeletons in new and exciting ways. Other things to take note of is Rare has changed a bit on how swimming underwater works and looks. They've also added some new underwater plants that provide air to drowning pirates. Whether or not these plants are only in the new Tall Tales or they are also now scattered across the world of Sea of Thieves 2, we will have to adventure to find out. Either way, this new mechanic gives you the ability to know exactly when you need air beyond just the good old choking to death sound. Alongside of all these new incredible things being added to the game, we also get some pretty awesome looking Pirate Emporium items, so make sure to swing by the shop and pick up some of those brand new cosmetics. Maybe even live out your dream of being Jack Sparrow himself sailing the Black Pearl. Alongside these awesome cosmetics, there's also the 100 levels for this season that give you some pretty sweet cosmetics, and if you get the Plunder Pass, of course you're going to get some pretty cool looking exclusive cosmetics for for those who complete the plunder pass and my goodness there you go there's still a whole heck of a lot to cover content wise so be on the lookout for even more videos coming your way but at least wanted to give you something to get started with if you don't want to miss out on those make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and i will see you scurvy dogs out on the seas